green flag. The cookout 400 is underway. My gosh, Kevin, that was definitely in started the restart zone. I don't want to hear anything more about it. Well, remember, Clint, the flag does start the race. <laughs> I don't care. It was in the zone. Martin Shrek slid way up the racetrack, almost got three wide right there. Yeah, and that racetrack's been walked on, run on, cleaned up, and that outside groove it won't be as good this first run as it, as it typically is. And, you know, if you get hung up there in the wrong position or your car's not handling good, it's tough to get down to the bottom. And sometimes you got to force yourself down to, to find a hole if there is one. But right, uh, so you've, you've got to go. You don't really get a great idea of what your car's doing until you get to a lap, about lap 30, 40, 50, somewhere in there. And that's where you really start to understand. And we expect the green flag runs to go. I'm already seeing cars having to straddle this rubber down in three and four in particular. Your leader right there with Larson, you see Truex behind him. They're moving up. Took a shot from the rear of Logano. I think he's in the way. Truex's early uh, struggles told us in the in the uh, pre-race there, Kevin, that he made some adjustments on his car overnight. Didn't like it. Well, it looks like Logano's a little bit better through the center of the corner. You'll see him roll up right to the center and through the center of the corner, and that's just uh, see right there. That's just Martin having to wait on the car to turn and, and late to the throttle. Briscoe looked to the inside of Chase Elliott, took advantage of some lap traffic. Chase was having trouble with them, and the other Chase pounced on it. Third place at stake here. Yeah, and Briscoe just can't finish the corner. He can't get the, the entry, the arc on the entry, and finish the corner on the exit to put the throttle down like he needs to to complete the pass. Showed it right there on display. Got loose up off with a lot of wheel in it. Chase Elliott drove back into the position. Ryan Blaney, he's going backwards. Well, he's going to have to deal with this 11 car at some point. And the 24. Sixth because place both here. Those, yeah, both of those cars are making their way through the field. Coming up on David Starr, three laps down in the 66. Justin Haley has gone two down in the 51. Well, and this is really going to bite Denny Hamlin right here because he's going to get stuck behind David Starr unless he doesn't move up. But you see William Byron not give him any space to try to pick, use him as a pick. Uh, and this is going to get tight. Oh, Denny has to move him up out of the way. Byron struggled here last fall. He only ran five laps in a top 10 position, finished 13th. How many times you've been here and done that? Come here, run right up in the front, almost win the race, come back the next time, felt like all the tires were flying. Yeah, what did you guys do to this thing? <laughs> yeah. It's literally the same car with the same setup, Clint. I don't know what to tell you. He's under him. About had him. There's the green and white checkers. And Kyle Larson gets his first ever stage win at Martinsville. His fourth of the season. He leads all drivers in that category. Restart zone on the front straightaway begins here. They're on it deep in the box. Oh, and they got to go. Because of that, Larson spun the tires big time on the outside. Logano got him. As much as we talked about last week's restart with Denny Hamlin, that was a great use of the box. Uh, the restart box there by Joey Logano to stack him up and Larson spun the tires and lost another spot on the restart. He's going to lose maybe another one to Denny Hamlin now. And these are the types of situations like Joey Logano putting on two tires, right? So we have Kyle Larson who had led and dominated the race, had control of the race, he lost control. Now he spins the tires, loses a spot on the restart, now battling with with Denny Hamlin to just keep third. And these are the types of things that change the complexion of the race just because of the track position. All the things that old tires show, right, where like four drive off immediately goes away on, on older tires. That has all those ingredients. It's taking off. It has four drive. What's wrong with Christopher Bell? I right. got smoke because he got right. a tire down. Looks like a right front flat. Clear low, clear low, clear low. Oh, it's broke. Tie rod ends broke somehow. Put rights on it. I think, it's, I think it's just got a flat. Well, it's turned way to the right, but it may have just been the carcass that's hung out there. On the right side of the car, the tire was definitely hung way out to the right. Bell was running 21st on the lead lap. He makes it to pit road. And caution is out for debris. It is king today. And we are back to green. Logano mixing it up. Took off early in the zone that time. That's how you're supposed to do it. Look at Denny Hamlin. Inside of Wallace for second. He has found the front. Been dominant on these short tracks. 
got all four Hendrick cars behind him, all four racing each other for position. How about that for a photo shoot? Rick wants them ahead of them, though. He yeah. doesn't want them racing <laughs> each other for fourth. Now Bubba Wallace is trying to do the same thing to Logano. He's trying to see if he can find something to put himself in a position to get a good run up off the corner to, to get position on, on Joey Logano. And that just sta he stacked everybody up behind him from first to fifth. Yeah. Add Larson to the group now. Look how wide he is on the exit. Look him turn. Oh, he's going to try to get on around him on the outside. That's a dirt racer. Always searching. Bubba way up the racetrack. Doing whatever they can do to get out of that stripe, that stripe of rubber on the racetrack, starting to build up, get slick. It just keeps getting worse and worse. Whatever problem you were fighting, it just keeps compounding worse and worse. Well, we've we've seen Denny Hamlin make so many passes through the field to get to this position of battling for second place, and he was able to to put himself in a spot to where he could use the bumper a little bit and get Bubba up out of the groove. Um, you see Denny push him up out of the way. This is the problem for Joey Logano is his car just doesn't handle as good as Denny Hamlin's right now. Joey Logano trying to get his first stage win in the last 22 races. Denny Hamlin trying to deny him. Well, now we're going to see if Denny can finish this pass up off the corner by putting the throttle down on the exit. Take, Joey's got that line taken away on the exit of the corner, but Denny rolls a whole car length faster through the center of the corner. If that had been a little bit later in the race, he probably would have forced the issue. Denny Hamlin becomes the third different leader today. 86 laps for Larson, 83 for Logano. Denny Hamlin looking for those green and white checkers to end stage number two. Seventh stage win at Martinsville for Hamlin more than any other driver. Bubba Wallace second, Larson Elliott, Logano Bowman. Josh Berry picks up the final stage point. Hamlin fires off. And Elliott is right with him headed for turn one. Well, that's the that's the hard part of, of going that late in the box. For whatever reason, it just becomes hard to, to gain an advantage as the leader. So. Well, that's exactly why he didn't do it last weekend. I mean, it takes the advantage away from you the longer you wait. Look at this. Chase Elliott to the lead. Cleared him. It also made every every person in the grandstand stand up. Look at this. All right. Most popular driver back in the lead. The two tires on that 54 car has put him in a position where he is just getting beat around in the middle of traffic. He's all over the place. Yellow waves. Turn four. Christopher Bell spins around. That'll be the fourth caution of the day. Not been a good day for Christopher Bell and company. It's a bit of a stretch to make it for here. If you could stretch it to 175 laps, and right now we got 197. So uh, Bell was inside Kaz Grala when the car broke loose there. Yeah, it looks like he just spun all on his own. Yep. And who, who knows the, the damage that that right front tire did and what it did to the balance. And well, thankfully, green flag. That is a tailgate king, folks. It was awesome. Chase Elliott inside of Denny Hamlin. Bubba Wallace right behind. Kyle Larson on the outside second row to the point baby look at them folks they love it then Bowman Logano and Briscoe the first of the cars that pitted is Martin Truex back in 21st with Ty Gibbs he's in a minute to pick that 16 car Josh Williams as you talked about Chase Elliott still holding tough on that outside whoa oh, Bubba Wallace slid locked you up saw the left that, front tire. yes sir you saw that left front lock up So Hamlin may get the lead here and Kyle Larson may get third from Bubba Wallace side by side two by two three by three including We've the lap car seen this so many times over the years I've experienced it behind the wheel Denny Hamlin nobody manages tires better than Denny Hamlin he's so good at that long runs he manages those tires keeps that car the balance on that thing neutral with his driving style doesn't abuse the brakes always there on a long run. Well, Here he I, is again. I, I think the, the one thing that is missing. William Byron with a three second lead. Hendrick one two three. This is the hundred fifty first cup race at Martinsville. 
and no single team has ever finished one two three here. Wow. Ross Chastain last car on the lead lap in 14. That's a hard car to pass guys. It's lapped all the way up to 14th place. And that last time we had this long a green flag run who went to victory lane. Jeff Gordon. In oh my gosh. I don't want to say it. Nemechek. Nemechek. I think he blew a tire right front. All right. Pressure's on. What just, are we going to do? Just like last week in the final three laps. Caution. Unbelievable. Blew it right front. Yeah. It looks like the brakes, or maybe brake brakes went were on out. fire yeah. and blew the tire. Yeah. Hunter Nemechek here in the. Skip Barber racing. Oh, the car. brakes. Yep. Yeah, you were See right. The tire blow out right there as he went and hit the brakes going in the corner. See that right front right front just drop. Oh no. <sighs> Hamlin three other cars in the back of the pack. Are pitting Jamie. Well, we listened to that radio on the 11. It sounded like they didn't want to pit that there was no point in pitting. But here they are coming down for their last stop of the day as they jack the right side. Clear tear off. This will be an interesting strategy call to see how much ground the 11 can make up. Five time winner here at Martinsville. They know how to get it done. I don't know if there's enough time though, Mike. So Tyler Reddick, Eric Jones and Ryan Priest all on the lead lap all pitted. Yeah, a lot of rolling around here under caution. Clean these tires up. All you guys on old, old, old tires. You see William Byron scrubbing them things in. All that rubber that we were talking about got picked up like a vacuum. What vacuum what was? It was these race cars. So the front row is Byron and Elliott. Kyle Larson is third in the stealing seat, and he is right alongside Ryan Blaney, the first non Hendrick car in the race. You said it, and that is a stealing seat. If those cars drive off in the corner, he's got the forward ability to back off a little bit. Let them race each other off in the corner. They both slide up, take it, and move each other up the track. He'll hand it to him. All right, here we go to credit one overtime at Martinsville. Byron Elliott, green flag. It stuck pretty good there, Kevin. I'm surprised. Three wide back there. Hamlin still 10. Elliott put the bumper to him. Chase Elliott to third. Crash turn four. Three cars around. I no think they flag. made the white. No, no flag. Still white green. flag. Green, green, green. green. Everybody gets away. Slipping and sliding around. Byron way out in the front. Likes what he sees in the mirror. Larson trying to steal second from Chase Elliott. Wallace behind him. William Byron. Comes to the flag and wins the Cookout 400. A one, two, three finish for Hendrick Motorsports. 40th anniversary. Look at these people on their feet off of two. Unbelievable. Oh, All their employees oh, off of two on their feet. That is awesome. First time that's ever happened at Martinsville Speedway. One team taking the top three spots. Oh, yeah. The 26 year old from Charlotte, North Carolina, celebrates his 13th career NASCAR Cup win. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports and NBC YouTube channel.